welcome back good morning we are on our way to the track um unfortunately our local track closed which was only about 15 minutes away street driving we never trailered our stuff there and now we gotta go to an hour and a half the car we have it sorted out pretty good we think um we actually went up to the track a few days ago on friday and got a two runs in the track wasn't uh prepared for all the people that were there and there was a lot of bracket racers a lot of people testing tuned first time it was really open on a friday night for the year so we're going to try again today at a private rental but a little bit about what we changed on the car um coming back from the dyno as you saw in the last video the dyno day what didn't go as planned so um we found out a few of the things that were wrong um first we actually we changed out the front suspension um we were planning on doing that anyway no matter what but we um wanted to do that after we got back from the dyno because we didn't want to have to take the time to do that before since we had to work on everything else we put uh strange coilovers on it um pro mod valving in them real nice stuff um uh, and just by the little bit that we saw on Friday we were actually just a hundredth off our best or her best pass ever and so this thing is screaming and that was not bad for the first time yeah what else did we change um, we changed the front brakes well I guess it's Brembo's we put a Brembo kit on it on the front and the rear and the rear we put uh, a, a V6 brake kit on it for a uh, 15 inch conversion. We do have some wheels and tires on the way. We also, I'll put a picture up, but um, we had Craig at Direct Performance Solutions do um, a truck fan to cover the gas, the fuel cell, and um, he actually beat rolled the gap factory into it, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> we also found out that the push rods might be a little too long, so um, we changed those out a 7.4 to a 7.350. Yes. Um, we also had Torque Storm um, check out my blower. We sent it on up there because they're only like an hour or two away from us. Um, they checked that out, made sure the boost leak was fixed or fine, make sure it wasn't leaking boost. And then also we found out on the car itself with the intercooler pipings the way that we had them or that I had them hooked up we did have uh, a few boost leaks and we got those fixed I'm gonna throw out a few numbers at you, to you when we were at the dyno we only had about 6.8 psi we are now at about uh, 11 psi um, and it is awesome and it is working and I think that this car will scream I guess we'll get right to the action and um, here's a few passes that we're going to make and we're at the track rental and we're going to have uh, a video of some of our friends there and the other people that are at the track and see y'all in the next video.
All right, so she's coming back. The private rental, we don't have times on the board. But there it is. Now we're gonna mess with her and act for that, make it little tank that she only went an 11 2. Here we go. What'd you do different? Nothing. You only went 11 2. Yeah, you did. Oh. on the G8 this year with all of the new suspension and um, all the boost leaks fixed and everything. It ran 1076 with a 60 foot of 143. So we're pretty overall happy with it. So hopefully it'll only go faster from here. Um, I already dropped half a second, almost half a second from last year with only five passes on it. It is now the fastest Torque Storm G8 that there is as of now and hopefully we'll get to keep that for a while. <laughs> uh, we are working on the one-two shift with our tuner and we're going to redo our overfill process to make sure that it is a quart and a half overfill. <laughs> but here's some passes from our friends from the rental and from Test and Tune. So enjoy.